Arburg started its life in the early 1950s. Uh, in 1954, a gentleman by the name of Carl Hale developed a small vertical machine for the encapsulation of camera leads uh, between the flash bulb and the camera. Uh, in those days, they were manufactured in metal uh, with the inherent problem of shorting out in damp and humid conditions. Uh, he developed the machine uh, that could then encapsulate the sockets in polymer or in plastic, as we more commonly call it. Uh, so it was really a case of um, uh, necessity as the mother of invention. Arburg had been making moulding machines since 1954. Initially as an insert moulding machine, but then latterly they make machines up to 500 tonnes for all different applications. Arburg gave a presence in the UK in 1992 and started a subsidiary in Warwick where we offer the service and support and sales for our customers in the UK. Arburg manufacture uh, injection moulding machines for the plastics industry. Uh, we manufacture fully hydraulic, uh, hybrid machines and fully electric machines for the injection moulding, the plastics injection moulding industry. Um, the machines themselves are in different configurations, that's vertical, in vertical mode, in horizontal mode and for many different sectors worldwide. Having worked in manufacturing all my work in life, um, I fully recognise that uh, manufacturing plays an incredibly important part uh, in, the, uh, in the UK and Irish um, uh, economies. Uh, I do believe that we have to have a balanced economy and of course we have an incredibly important financial sector but I think as the recession in 2009 proved we do need to have a balanced economy based between financial and manufacturing sectors uh, in those markets. At Arburg we like to partner our customers in giving them the most technical solutions out there. It is through the support of the partner companies and the government that helps drive the industry forward. Arburg has been manufacturing machines for over 50 years. Uh, and in the UK and Ireland, we have many customers who we've dealt with um, for over 30, 35 years in some cases. And I do firmly believe that in that, t in that time, um, we have managed to achieve the close working partnership that we always try to foster a long working relationship with the customers through dialogue, through understanding their requirements, and through being able to bring um, application competence, a good portfolio of machinery, and the right technical solution for their needs going forward. We play a part, a very significant part, in supplying machines to many universities, uh, colleges uh, around the UK and in Ireland, um, in order that the universities there can play a vital role in research and design. There's also a second and very, uh, very much more important view uh, with regards to customers themselves that we supply and specify the correct technology to enable them to develop their products uh, for the future um, to either replace existing products or indeed bring new products to marketplace, um, which obviously plays a very important part in the, in the overall cycle of research, design, and all the way through to development and production. I firmly believe that apprenticeships are incredibly important uh, to the manufacturing industry and to the plastics industry, particularly in our case. Um, as somebody who did an apprenticeship many, many years ago, I do fully understand and appreciate that the skill set uh, that is given to the individual um, during a structured apprenticeship scheme can give them a superb base or basis for the future, for future skills to be attained. Um, in our particular case at Arburg, uh, when we look to recruit an individual, say for instance for a service engineer position, uh, it's a very key part of the CV that we look for that somebody has undertaken an apprenticeship. Uh, it gives me and my team the confidence that the individual has got and attained a particular standard. Um, and we do notice that within our customer base there are times when we provide training, as we do as part of the package, um, that on occasions we are, I think, compensating sometimes for the lack of available apprenticeships within British manufacturing. An additional important point is the uh, involvement with a machine being placed, an Arburg machine being placed on the manufacturing stand at the Excel Center uh, at the World Skills uh, Exhibition, uh, which is a, uh, a global exhibition that takes place annually uh, and promotes the very best of training and skills in manufacturing. Our parent company uh, in 2010 turned over 380 million euro, uh, of which 7.4% was invested in research and design. Uh, I think that's a very key thing because clearly when we're talking to customers about their requirements going forward in the future, be it short or long term, 
um, one of the key areas that they look for is the very latest in technology to ensure that they can remain competitive. I think from my own perspective, one of the other points is training. Uh, and that is a very key part of the business with customers in mind, that we need to ensure that they're brought up with the latest techniques uh, and information uh, and processing ability. Many of the customers that uh, I've spoken to um, have told me that um, in terms of buying new equipment, capital allowances are um, in some cases very woefully inadequate and that they would like to see a certain distinct improvement there to make them um, invest in new equipment, be it injection molding machines or other types of equipment. So I think that's one area that uh, the government could certainly address. Um, another area I think is certainly in red tape. Um, many of our customers uh, have commented to me that in the UK we have to endure a lot of red tape, whereas possibly the uh, competitors that they're um, uh, in competition with abroad uh, in Europe don't necessarily have the same restrictions. So it's a little bit of a, a case of time, one arm behind their back. AK Industries is an injection moulding business providing innovative solutions for our customers across a, a wide range of, of mouldings. We mould engineering polymers and in the moulding process we're able to, to add value by pri providing insert mouldings, also two-shot mouldings and post-moulding we also provide other services such as printing, assembly and ultrasonic welding. As a market leader in injection molding machines, uh, we pride ourselves on being very innovative in terms of our technologies. Um, our manufacturing plant in Lossberg uh, has uh, huge R&D resources, or research and design resources, to enable us to be able to keep pace with customers' requirements. And it's very obvious that customers have pushed us harder and harder for new technologies to bring to market to enable them to remain competitive. I think the other key area uh, is the people, or are the people themselves in terms of training, uh, which is a very key part of the, any business. Um, and in that respect, with our own training school here, with training courses that we provide, it means that our customers can stay up with the latest trends, the latest technologies um, that are available to them um, and that they can remain competitive in the market. Personally speaking, uh, I'm very confident for the UK manufacturing industry going forward. Um, we personally have worked with many of our customers and have noticed that uh, they've had to change and adapt uh, to meet uh, the increasing demands of their customers. And in doing so, have become stronger and more resilient to any future problems that may come along in a, in a global economy. Uh, so from my perspective, I think uh, the outlook, short to medium term, is very positive.